Welcome to Pharmacology Channel. This time we will discuss the topic of suppositoria and rectal absorption. Happy following. I'm Victor S. Ringo Ringo, pharmacist, drug consultant, cosmetic safety assessor, and medical pharmacologist. What is rectum? The rectum is the final straight portion of the large intestine in humans. What is rectal administration? Rectal administration uses the rectum as a route of administration for medication and other fluids which are absorbed by the rectum's blood vessels. How is rectal medication absorbed? In general, Drug absorption in the upper part of the rectum is transported to the liver via the portal system and thus undergoes first-pass metabolism, whereas drug absorption in the lower rectum is transported directly to the systemic circulation. Rectal Absorption Generally, oral administration is the route of choice in the daily practice of pharmacotherapy. However, in some circumstances, this is impractical or even impossible, such as during nausea and vomiting, convulsions, in uncooperative patients, and before surgery. In these cases, the rectal route may represent a practical alternative and rectal administration is now well accepted for delivering anticonvulsants, non-narcotic and narcotic analgesics, theophylline, anti-emetics, antibacterial agents for inducing anesthesia in children. Bioavailability of rectal absorption. It may also represent an interesting alternative to intravenous or other injections route of drug administrations. The rate and extent of the rectal drug absorption are often lower than if oral absorption, possibly an inherent factor owing to the relatively small surface area available for drug uptake. In addition, the composition of the rectal formulation, solid versus liquid, nature of the suppository base, appears to be an important factor in the absorption process by determining the pattern of drug release. Formulation This relation between formulation and drug uptake has been clearly demonstrated for drugs like diazepam, paracetamol or acid aminophane, indomethacin, methadone, and diflunisol. Manipulating rectal absorption Co-administration of absorption promoting agents like surfactants, sodium salicylate, and aminas, represents another approach towards manipulating rectal drug absorption, although this concept requires further research concerning both efficacy and safety. For a number of drugs, the extent of rectal absorption has been reported to exceed oral values, which may reflect partial avoidance of hepatic first-pass metabolism after rectal delivery. This phenomenon has been reported for the following drugs, morphine, metoclopramide, ergotamine, lidocaine, and propranolol. The extent of first-pass metabolism may be influenced, like lidocaine, depending on the site of drug administration in the rectum. The rate of delivery the rate of delivery may determine systemic drug action and side effects like nifedipine, and it may affect the local action of concurrently administered absorption promoters on drug uptake like cefoxetine. Local irritation Local irritation is increasingly being acknowledged as a possible complication of rectal drug therapy. Long-term medication with rectal ergotamine and acetyl salicylic acid, for example, may result in rectal ulceration and irritation 
after a single administration of several drugs and formulation has been described. Tolerability and Safety The assessment of tolerability and safety is imperative in the design of rectal formulation. Recent studies corroborate the clinical relevance of rectal drug therapy and the value of the rectal route as an alternative to parenteral administration has been assessed for the following drugs like diazepam, midazolam, morphine, and diclofenac. You may refer to the following references for more detailed information with regard to the rectal absorption. I hope that this information will be beneficial for you all. Thank you for your kind attention.